The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. What is your opinion though, Doc? I mean, should virginity testing uh, be banned? For a girl living in Los Angeles in the free world, if it gets banned, it's really not that big of a deal. But to a little girl who lives in Afghanistan, um, a virginity test could save her life. These are women who get married, have sex on, on their wedding night, and they don't bleed, and they get accused of all sorts of things, and they get hurt. So it's hard for me to sit here and say ban it around the world, because, you know, if you think about it, there are many, many countries where women have no human rights. And uh, this is a big, big issue. It doesn't matter what they've accomplished in their life when it comes to marriage. This little membrane that's the opening to the vagina is all that matters. And, and Dr. Alibadi, let's be clear for the folks at home, sexual intercourse isn't the only way that membrane can get torn, correct? Absolutely. Girls that do horseback riding, gymnastics, girls that use tampons, weight bearing exercises, swimming, the, the list goes on and on. So you and you know, there's some women that are born without a hymen, believe it or not. Wow. So you okay. can't just group everyone into one category. And that's why there's really we don't have a virginity test because, you know, everyone's different. I mean, I'm against uh, doing this procedure. And but I think we need to first educate women and change this uh, mindset, this uh, double standard that it's okay for men to sleep with all these women before they get married, but it's not allowed for a woman to do anything until marriage. That part right there, Doc, it's got to be the cultural shift. And it's, and it's so hard, and it takes so much time. But this is like you said, it's a matter of educating and empowering women to be able to take control of their own bodies, right? Because that's just the way it should be. Now, Dr. Ali Body, I did a little research and what I found gave me pause. I understand there are now vaginal tightening creams and even artificial hymens. Talk to us about this. So let me make it very clear. There okay. is no cream on this planet that will cause the vagina to go to get tight. So don't spend your money, it's not gonna work. As far as the artificial hymen, um, these are little capsules. I don't know if you've uh, seen the videos, but they're little capsules filled with artificial blood. The woman inserts it deep into the vagina prior to the act of intercourse and the membrane eventually dissolves and this red fake blood gets released and gives the impression of, you know, um, having lost the virginity. The, the sad part of this is the women who really need to use these artificial hymens don't have access to it in other countries. So, you know, to be honest with you, if you're starting your relationship based on a lie, I don't think it's the right way to start a relationship. That is such a good point.